Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in today's video, I just wanted to uh, share my personal story of how I got involved in my concrete business, basically telling my story of like where I was and how I ended up where I am now, which is owning a $3 million year concrete business in under five years of business. So yeah, I just want to tell a little bit about my story and, and who I am and kind of like what led me to here. And I just, you know, I wanted to start out and give a little bit of background. I was one of those kids growing up that was like always obsessed with business, whether it was like a lemonade stand. I used to have like lemonade stands as a kid. Um, my dad actually had uh, or worked for a like a beverage company. And so I used to take his beverages to school in my backpack and sell them to kids. They were like energy drinks at the time it was monster. And so I was like selling monster drinks out of my backpack from school. Um, I tried to start a supplement company in college and it was <laughs> absolute disaster. And then even after college, I started a bounce house rental company. Um, basically we're like, I bought a bunch of bounce houses and I rented them out to people and would like go and set them up for like birthday parties and stuff for like kids. Um, so it was kind of funny, like all growing up, I was like always trying to think of different businesses and ever from the very beginning, I always kind of knew that I wanted to be out on my own, but I didn't know exactly like what I wanted to do or like how I would become a business owner. And honestly, I started to like lose a lot of hope. Like, I mean, from everything that I ever started, it was always like losing money. It was taking my time. It was never really like giving me anything back in return, right? It was basically just me like wasting my time on starting these like stupid little businesses and uh, I began to lose hope. So then what I did is I actually went and I worked for a uh, marketing company and that was like, you know, the next closest thing to like starting my own business was like helping other business owners like scale their business. And so I was like super excited about that. And um, when I was doing that, I kind of noticed that like there are a lot of uh, business owners that were really good at their craft, especially contractors, right? They were really, really good at their craft, but I noticed like they didn't really take their marketing very seriously, which was always like really surprising from me, from my perspective, considering I worked for a marketing company and I saw how powerful it was. And so I began to get like more and more ready to start my own business, but like I didn't know how to do anything. Like I couldn't even like hang up a picture on the wall. That's how bad I was at construction. So there was like no way I was gonna be a contractor. And uh, that's when I started dating my now wife and her dad was a really, really good concrete guy. And uh, the cool thing about that is he would do concrete projects on the weekend and it used to always like strike my interest. I was like, you know, I would ask him about it at like family dinners and stuff. I'd be like, oh wait, so Caesar, like, you know, tell me about your concrete business. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I got a job coming up. I'm doing a patio. And I was like, well, how much are you gonna make on that patio? And he would be like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm gonna charge like six or 7,000. I was like, well, how much does it cost for you to do that? He's like, oh, I don't know. like between the concrete and paying for some finishers, uh, maybe about, you know, like three, 4,000 bucks is like, holy crap. So he's gonna make 3,000 bucks and he's doing this on the weekend. Like it kind of like blew my mind that that's how much money that he was making. And uh, it kind of got my wheels turning and uh, it was funny. It took me like many, many months to like build up the confidence and approach him because I was like, so nervous at that point like i knew i knew marketing but that was really all that i knew um but i really wanted to start my own business and i i remember i finally gathered up the courage to talk to him and so i went up to him and i was like you know very serious and he's like you know taken a little bit back by it because normally we just are like really casual together and i was like hey so caesar like can i talk to you and he's like uh sure and i'm like do you think i could buy part of your business and we can like partner together i can like do all your marketing and we can like you know actually try to like turn this side business into like a real business um and at the time he you know was like oh i'll think about it i'll consider it and all that and um it was like a month or two down the line and the stars were kind of aligning i was getting like super frustrated with my job and caesar was getting really frustrated with his full-time job he was actually a uh, a concrete ready mix like truck driver um, full-time 
and uh it was funny because caesar had so little confidence that like the concrete business was like actually gonna work that he approached me and he's like well hey tyler why don't we start like a moving business instead of going to concrete and uh at the time i didn't really understand like why he would have wanted to do that but like now it makes sense because he just literally didn't think that a concrete business was even feasible because he was already doing it for so long like just on the side and essentially like getting nowhere with it like he was you know making a couple thousand bucks every now and again but it was super inconsistent um and uh, with a little bit of convincing i convinced him to get into concrete and um you know it's crazy uh we started back in 2018 and since then we've grown his company that was like a hundred fifty thousand dollar a year company or something like that to uh this year in like our i guess four and a half years of business we're gonna do three million dollars a year and uh you know it it kind of makes me just think or i guess look back and um really reminisce on that um i think the reason that caesar and i have been so successful together in concrete is we both manage like different sides of the business like he's like the concrete expert like he like knows everything about concrete uh he does beautiful beautiful work um like he was never afraid to like get outside and work hard he just didn't know the rest of the business and that was kind of more my specialty right that's kind of like what i spent my whole life learning about even though like i was doing really stupid businesses i was still kind of building up my skill set in like sales marketing I took some like finance and accounting classes at college and uh that's kind of when it hit me that the only, the real reason that caesar and i were successful from where we started to where we are now is because we had both sides of the business figured out and um i've talked to a lot of concrete guys uh especially now that i own concrete launch secrets which is like a coaching business for concrete contractors um, who are kind of similar to Caesar who really know concrete, but maybe like need a little bit more help with the marketing and the sales. And I've realized like that that is like the perfect combination for like any business. You need someone who's a really, really good, um, like implementer or like operation side where they're really good at like doing the actual service that is sold. And then you need someone who's an expert on the other side, who's not just like about getting leads, but knowing how to sell them and knowing at what price to sell them um, and the accounting and kind of like how that all works together to become like one big cohesive business model. Um, it's kind of crazy. Cause like the more I think about it, like almost all of the biggest businesses in the world, like that's kind of what they are. It's just like a team of people who are really good at their individual craft. Um, I mean, for even bigger businesses, right? You have like head of marketing, head of accounting, head of finance, head of operation, head of sales, but it's like, honestly, as contractors, unless you're doing like $10 million plus, like that wouldn't really make sense to start developing departments like that. Um, but yeah, no. So I just kind of wanted to like, come on here, like share a little bit of my story about how I got into concrete. Cause like, I wouldn't say that I'm a concrete guy. Like I know a lot about concrete, but I still literally don't even know how to like, uh, like finished concrete myself, even though I've been in the industry for four and a half years. Um, but also like some people might look at that and be confused how we've been so successful if I don't understand concrete. And the reason is because like there's two sides of every business. You have like the front end of the business, which is like the actual doing the work, like what people see. But then there's like the whole behind the scenes of the business that also is just as important as the front end, which is like, how do I get customers? How do I sell those customers? How do I price the jobs? How do I schedule the work? How do I do the accounting? Um, how do I budget? You know, all the things that like most contractors don't think about. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like make this video for anyone that was uh, maybe wondering why they've been in concrete for a really long time and they don't really understand like why they aren't growing. And I've talked to a lot of concrete people and like most of the times it's been like literally this exact situation where it's like they have the front end of the business really solved um like the concrete itself but they need some help on the back end um obviously i would love to help you with the back end of the business but like if you don't use me that's totally fine my main goal is like to at least help you open your eyes and see that it's like it really takes both sides of the business and so there's other ways to like accomplish getting the back end done like you could hire like a marketing team and you could hire a salesperson you know there's you could also do it just by trial and error right like learning everything yourself it's just going to take a lot longer 
Um, but the key thing is like you do need to start thinking about, um, you know, more of the back end side of the business and getting that going because it's just as important, if not more important than actually getting the work done itself. Because if you're not generating the customers, it's like, it doesn't matter how good you are at concrete because like people aren't paying you to do it. So it's like <laughs> your skills kind of going a little like wasted at that point. So, uh, just wanted to kind of like make this video, um, hope this helps someone out there. If I could help you guys leave comments in the description and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.